All right, hey guys, it's uh, Wilson 419 here, and today I'm going to be making a video of um, taking apart the Casio CA11 for either a screen screen replacement, LCD replacement, speaker replacement, you know, whatever you're going to need it for. So, first thing to start us off is that you have four screws in the back, one, two, three, and four, and then you have two in the front. You need to take those out, and they are a like a kind of like an inverted triangle type and you have to have an inverted triangle screwdriver or you can use a flathead if, it, um, if it's really small and happens to fit. So, let's get started on that. Just take these out. Alright, got those off. The next step, take a flathead screwdriver and you want to go right along the edge. There's like a little hole right here. Let's see if I can get this in the camera view here. There's a hole right here on the back that the screwdriver just happens to fit into. And then there's one to the right of the power button that it fits into. So basically you want to twist into that. Go down here and twist into that. You're going to hear a little snap and then you want to find where that snap was and just kind of use this as a wedge and just wedge along the phone. A little bit of sticky tape there, not a big deal. Then you can take off the uh, take off this piece here. You got these two pieces that come off, and then you can get off these pieces here. So this comes off. Now you got the next screws. You got three screws. One, two, three on this side, and then you got one, two, three on this side, and then oh, there it is. You got one more up here, and one more down here. So let's go ahead and take those out. Next step, take a flathead again, and on the places where you just took out the screws, you'll notice that it's just kind of like a, it's kind of indented in to fit directly for the screw. You can just kind of go along there and just pry that. Same thing down here, just pry it out. And it should just come, sorry, it should just come right out. Now along the back here is where you want to pry a little bit and pull out. When you pull out, it just kind of comes out. And there you go. That piece is out. Next part, you have all these connectors here. You want to take these connectors out. Like, uh, you want to take that one out. You got one there. You got one here. You got one here. You got your two speaker wires down here, right here and here. And you get another cable right there. Take those out. And go to the next step, which is take your Phillips head screwdriver and take out the motherboard screw here, motherboard screw here, and motherboard screw here and here. So let's do that. Oh, and here and here. All right. All right. Don't do that. That's not recommended. If I had a larger space to work with, I wouldn't have that, but you know, whatever. I'm actually putting a lot of force on these screws to get them out because they take a lot of force to move them. Obviously, you only do that for a little bit so you can give them the move, and then you can go back to using regular amount of force. Let's get that out. 
Um, then you take your flathead and you go right on, in, in this phone's orientation, to go and go on the right side near the middle where there's like a little opening. And you just kind of pry in like that, comes up, grab it with your thumb or whatever, and then move it out. You move it clockwise to get out, to get it out of the USB port. It might it might require a little force to do that, so you just gotta be very careful with it. But it does require a little force. After that, you look at the bottom here. Make sure that the speaker wires aren't tangled in that little um, square down there, and you uh, lift up and out, and then the motherboard comes out. All right, all right. So the next step now that you have it to this stage, where it's basically almost you're you're almost there. Um, now you want to go to the front here and take this piece and you just kind of want to pry it off. I want to go from this side actually and just pry this piece right off. Now sometimes what you have to do is that you have to go into over here and lift it up first. And, that, and then after that, it just come right off. It's a pretty, pretty fairly easy piece. This comes off with it. Um, mind, it was, it was like that. But I mean, I'd already gone through this, so make sure it works. So, it's that. Um, after that, you take this little piece down here, this little volume rocker piece, or at least where the volume rockers would be, and just kind of uh, wedge in, push out, comes right out. After that, go back to the front and work on these pieces here. Um, you want to take this silver piece out first. It might be a little sticky for you when you try to take it out. Um, Alright, then you just kind of wedge in. You can either go from here and get it out, or from here and get out the red, to get out this, this red piece. And you basically just kind of wedge in try to get it come out, and then there you go. <clears throat> After that, you start the uh, the next part. See there. The next part you gotta be really careful. Um, well, I mean, you gotta be careful this entire thing, but if there was ever a point of being most careful, it would probably be here. You want to uh, take this and wedge in between the glass and the um, the, the plastic and carefully bring this out. Now, your first intention is going to be to use whatever is below it as a lever to try to pull it out. And you don't want to do that because underneath that, oops, underneath that is the, uh, is the LCD and you don't want to crack the LCD. So you just got to be really careful. Go, go along the edges. Um, don't really poke that much into it and just kind of carefully go along the edge here to take out the glass. Again, just might be difficult. It, it might be difficult depending on uh, how much glass you have shattered. But basically, you want to separate all the uh, separate the glass from the rest of the phone.